you so much for joining me today for yoga. I hope you're having a wonderful Wednesday thus far. We're going to start off in a comfortable seated position. You can use a chair if you'd like, or you can use a mat like I am. Whether you're in that cross-legged position or your legs are extended, go ahead and just rock a little side to side. Lila's here joining me today as well. Loosen up your hips. And now just shake out your wrists a few times. Maybe twist a little side to side, loosening up the body. When you're ready, place the hands, palms facing upward on the knees. This symbolizes openness. Lengthening through the spine, sitting up a little bit taller if you can. Now let's just close our eyes. Take a few moments to Invite in a deeper, slower breath. Breathing in and out of the nose. As you inhale, feel your belly expand. As you exhale, feel your belly soften. Now just wiggle the fingers and toes a few times. Flutter the eyelids open when you're ready and just breathe in. Open the arms and reach all the way up, stretch. As you exhale through the mouth, lower the hands down. <sighs> Let's do that again. Inhale, lift all the way up, stretch. Sigh out of the mouth <sighs> as you lower down. Breathe in through the nose, this time reach up as you exhale, take that left hand to the right knee, right hand behind you. Start off with a twist, looking over the right shoulder. Sit up as tall as you can, breathing in. As you exhale, try looking behind you. One more time, breathing in and out. Inhale, slowly return to the center. Again, lift all the way up. Exhale, float the hands the other way. Right hand to left knee, left hand behind you. Turning your gaze to the left or maybe towards that left shoulder. Breathing in and breathing out. Inhale, lift the arms all the way back up. And exhale, float the hands down by your sides. Extend both legs in front of you. Give those legs a shake, shake, shake. And now hands by your hips, sit up tall in seated mountain. Point through your toes and circle. Circle the ankles around and around, working out any pops or cracks. Going the other way. And now flexing the feet, relaxing the shoulders, lifting through the crown of the head, engaging your core. Breathing in. And exhale, relax. Shake out those legs. Go ahead and swing the legs around. Come to your table pose or hands and knees. From here, open the knees slightly wider than the hips and begin once more to rock side to side. Looking slightly forward, preparing to open the hips with some hip circles. When you're ready, begin circling in one direction. Now it doesn't matter which way you go. Go this way a few times, inhaling forward, exhaling back, connecting the breath in and out of the nose with every movement. The next time you come forward, switch directions, go the other way, inhaling forward and exhaling back. Inhaling forward and exhaling back. Taking one more full circle and then returning to the center. Open the knees even wider, connect your big toes Drop down to your forearms, palms together in a prayer. This is known as puppy dog pose or heart melting pose. Head to the ground. If it can't touch the ground, grab a pillow. 
Press your hips back, but keep the hips elevated. Now, feel that lengthening, that stretching out for the back and opening of the hips. Stay right here. We're beginning to lift the hands away from the earth and place them on the back of the neck. For a deeper shoulder and chest opener, slide the elbows forward a bit. Breathing in and out. Breathing in and out one more time. And then lower your hands down. Slowly lift up to your table. Very good. Now that puppy pose is a great alternative to downward dog. Keep that in mind as we continue in our practice. Bring the knees back under the hips and stretch your right leg back. If you need to give yourself more room, come forward. Right toes tuck under, press the heel back and look forward. Now, when you're ready, engage the belly. So navel to spine, squeezing as you lift the right leg. Point through the toes, breathing in. This is extended cow shape. As you exhale for extended cat, round the back, pull the knee in. Let's try it again, guys. Inhale back and exhale, squeeze it in. Inhale back and exhale, pull it in. One more time. Think of this as an abdominal contraction. Exhale, knee towards you. Step the right foot forward. Slowly we rise up. Find that kneeling lunge. If you're a little off-centered like me, a little wobbly today, go wider with that right foot. No big deal. Reach up, breathing in. Exhale, float the hands down to frame the foot. Use blocks if you need. Use books, whatever you have available. Tuck the back toes under. Stay right here. Option one, keep looking slightly forward of the foot. Or option two, go deeper by lifting the back knee and pressing through the heel. Breathing in and out for one. Breathing in and out for two. Breathing in and out for three. Lower the knee if it's lifted. Return to your table. Rock a little side to side again. And now this time, choosing to return to puppy pose or tuck the toes under, lift the knees and hips. The next step, downward dog. Hips to the sky, head between the arms. Arms are straight in your down dog. Spread your fingers wide and begin to take your dog for a walk. In these extended positions, we're really opening up spaces that are often tight and tense. We're releasing stress and negativity. Take another breath here, and then lower your knees down. Left leg stretches back, curl the toes under. So now we're gonna take that same sequence on the other side, gazing forward, feel the stretch. And now breathing in, exhale, lift the leg. Point through the toes, look forward. Remember, this is your inhale now. As you exhale, pull everything into the center. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cat. Inhale, cat. Exhale, cat. One more time. Inhale, cat. Exhale, four cat. Step the left foot forward. It doesn't have to look pretty. Do your best, lift it up. Left knee over ankle, stack the joints, lift through the torso, open the chest, relax the shoulders. Breathing in and out. Breathing in as you exhale, float your hands around the left foot now, grabbing blocks or props if needed. Gazing slightly forward of the left foot, stay right here with the back toes tucked under, or start to lift that back knee, optional deeper stretch. Runner's lunge, pressing through that right heel if you're lifting the knee. 
Take another breath here. We're going to take that back foot and step or drag it forward now. Once you eventually come to this forward fold, soften the knees, opposite hand takes opposite elbow and we rock. We sway side to side in our rag doll. Let the upper body hang heavily. Now take a deep breath in. Open your mouth, let out that big sigh. Ha, ah, feels good. Let the arms hang and now vertebrae by vertebrae, as slowly as you can, rise up to standing. Inhale, lift the arms up. With your exhale now, let's bring our hands to our heart. Shoulders relax once more. Slide the feet closer together so they're right under the hips looking down. You'll see your toes point forward. For this part, you may need to come off of your mat even using a wall if necessary. Find a point of focus in front of you, that spot that's not moving. We call it our drishti, our still point. Breathing in as we work on a little balance today. With our exhale, we're lifting our heels off the mat. Inhale to lower and exhale to lift. Inhale down. These are called heel lifts and exhale. I got to use the wall. Inhale down. Remember, be kind and exhale be patient with yourself inhale just working to do the best that we can today and exhale can you lift those heels a little higher for these last three inhale down exhale up two one more time and then let it go let it go shake it off march it out Relax those arms. Great work, everyone. Slide the hands onto those hips, and now take a big step out. This is called a straddle position. In straddle, we're still in our mountain pose. When you look down, your toes are still pointing forward. Your feet are still parallel. Our hips are just open, but they should point forward. Our chest should point forward as well. Now, from here, start to lift the arms. Open the arms wide. Spread your fingers. Really spread through the palms. Feel all this energy move down, down the arms, into your heart. This is known as star pose. Take a big breath in. And out. Excellent. From here, we'll turn our right toes out. Go wider if you have that space. From here... I'm going to bend into my right knee. This is known as warrior two. Your right knee is over your right ankle. Always keeping your body safe and joints stacked. Inhale, start to lift the arms and lift the knee. As you exhale, bend right back into that same pose of strength and courage. Inhale, lift. And exhale, lower. Inhale, arms lift. Leg stretches out. And exhale, bend. One more time here, guys. Big stretch. As you exhale, bend the knee. Now gaze over the right hand. Shoulders relax. Heart open. Flip the right palm. Reach it up as you lean back. Maybe moving the gaze upward. Letting the left hand, the back hand, just fall or rest on the back thigh. Don't lose that bend in your right knee. We call this radiant warrior. It's very energizing. Breathing in and out for one. Breathing in and out for two. One more in and out. Release warrior two. Let the arms relax, roll out those shoulders, and then release the legs. Turn the feet to point forward. Rock those hips again, side to side, side to side. Now we're going to come back into that star pose, 
Stretch it out, open the arms, spread through the palms. Breathing in, breathing out. Arms drop parallel with the floor, palms turn down. Left toes turn out. Warrior two, breathe it in. And exhale, bend. Remember, knee over ankle. Keep opening this left hip now. Inhale, lengthen. And exhale, bend. Inhale, stretch. And exhale, bend. Move with your breath. Remember, in our yoga, we really work to connect the breath with the movement, with everything we do. Now hold this pose. Gazing forward over the left hand. Spread the fingers wide, flip the left palm, and now try that radiant warrior. Feel your radiance, connect with your radiance as you stretch the left arm up. Right hand relaxes down. Looking up if that feels good, keep bending the left knee, breathing in and out for one. Breathing in and out for two. One more, guys. Breathe it in and out. Slowly release. Let it go. Maybe roll those shoulders the other way and then release. Heel toe or walk the feet in a few inches closer together. Still wider than your hips. Bring your hands to your hips. And to finish the sequence, let's just circle it out that feels good doesn't it hip circles and any circles that we do for the body is very soothing for all of the systems so really stretching out that lower back and hip area we've been working to open up today let's go the other way breathing in as you come forward breathing out as you go back yeah they're doing great right lila we're doing great too now just taking one last circle to finish. And then standing up, heel toe the feet in the rest of the way. So now your feet are hip distance apart. Shake it out, march it out for a moment. To finish our standing sequence today, we'll return to that heel lift position. Coming back to the wall if you need. Remember this is a balance challenge. If it's an option available for you, or to you, bring your hands to your heart. Breathing in, focus on that spot in front of you. This is a meditation. As you exhale, lift your heels. Inhale down, we're gonna do a couple more. And exhale, lift, stretch out those toes. Inhale down, and exhale, strengthen the arches of the feet and the ankles. Two more, inhale down, and exhale. Now, this final round, Give it a try, lift your heels and hold this pose. Use the wall if you need. Hold it, now keep breathing, keep focusing. Maybe the arms lift up, breathe for three. Breathe for two. Breathe for one. Let it go, move around a bit. Finding stillness, eyes soften or close. Notice the difference. Notice every part of you from your head to your toes, maybe wiggle the toes, lift and lower the toes. From your toes back up to the crown of your head. With the eyes open, please come towards the front of your mat or back onto your mat. And just inhale now, reach the arms up. As you exhale, bring the hands to the heart with a little bow saying thank you to yourself and all of us here. Come into your forward fold. Bend your knees so much that you're able to lower the knees down one at a time. Take it slow here, guys. Now, we're going to come into one more option, one more pose we haven't tried yet, but I want you to come back to puppy on the forearms and knees if that's the best option for you. If you're able to try dolphin pose, you're on your forearms as well, elbows under shoulders, interlace the fingers. Really press in the forearms, engage the core as you tuck your toes. 
Now the head is lifted above the ground, just hovering above the floor. As you lift your knees, walk your feet in a little closer, lift your hips in the air. Think of this as down dog on the forearms. Bend and straighten the knee. Feel that stretch. This is so good, so cleansing and clearing. Great for the heart to release stress. Great for the shoulders to strengthen and the core. Take another breath or two, not staying here too long. And then lower the knees, opening them wide, connecting the big toes. Release your hands and find child's pose. In child's pose, simply relax. Maybe it will feel good to bring your hands like a pillow under the forehead. In your child's pose, Allow yourself to get as comfortable as you can, maybe rocking a little side to side. Give your forehead a massage by gently moving your head just a few inches from side to side, feeling that gentle rubbing on the hands. Using this posture to help you release any remaining stress or tension you may be feeling. Take a deep breath in through the nose. And now, when you're ready, open your mouth, let it go. Ha. Slowly we rise to our hands and knees and then swing the legs around. Great job, everybody. Shake out those legs. And now come into a straddle position, please. Open the legs wide. You might not be able to see my legs all that well, but just open the legs wide, similar to how we were doing when we were standing. Bring your hands by your sides and use your hands to help you really lengthen the spine to sit up straight. Shoulders relax, so not looking like this, right? Lots of energy in this pose, lots of opening, lifting through the top of the head. Now let's just point through our toes for a moment, breathing in. And exhale, flex the toes. One more time, just point through your toes, feel that stretch, and now flex, hold this flexion. Inhale, lift the arms up. As you exhale, turn to the right and fold over the leg, holding this pose, holding this stretch, reach for your toes, your ankle, your shin, even your thigh, just not your knee. Breathing in, looking forward of the foot, and exhale, fold a little deeper. Breathing in and out. One more time and out. Inhale, lift all the way up, stretch. And exhale, switching sides over to the left. Grabbing your toes, your ankle, your shin or thigh. Flexing the feet still, pressing the heels into the earth. Lengthen the spine, breathing in and out. Breathing in and out. Feel that amazing stretch for the hamstrings one more time, the sciatic nerve that runs up and down the leg. And now to finish, inhale, lift the arms up and exhale, let it go. Relax your toes, shake out the legs. Bring the legs together. Very good. Seated here, or if it's more comfortable to cross the ankles, you can do that. Turning the palms to face upward one final time. Lengthening through the spine. Noticing it's a lot easier to sit this way now, right? Hopefully it is. And now just close your eyes. Let all the muscles of the face instantly soften. Breathing in as you exhale, turn your head to the right. And then inhale, head back on straight. Exhale, turn your head softly, slowly to the left. Inhale, center. And exhale, right. Inhale, center. And exhale, to the left. One more time, slowly turning your head side to side. 
releasing any last little bit of tension in the throat region. Breathing in and out. With the eyes closed, the head on top of the shoulders, staying here in the seated meditation. Notice what comes up for you, what thoughts, what feelings, what sensations. See if you can just allow yourself to be present with these thoughts, feelings, and sensations instead of making any changes, knowing that we're just going to be here for a very short time. Just be present and think of these thoughts, feelings, and sensations as clouds in the sky. And as clouds float by, we don't attach ourselves to any particular cloud. We just watch them float by above us. Allow your thoughts to be the same, your feelings, your sensations. Let them come and let them go, knowing that if something is important, I promise you it will be there later. This is time for you. you're feeling constricted or tense anywhere, can you relax a little more? Can you soften? Remember, keep the face relaxed. Maybe smile. It's said when we smile, this helps the entire body to relax. Feel good, feel happy. Feel open. And that's all. Just take a deep breath in now to finish. Open your mouth and let out a great big sigh. <sighs> Slowly wiggle the fingers and toes. Flutter the eyelids open. Move or stretch in any way you need. And with your hands at your heart, we send love, we send peace, we send health and healing to all beings everywhere. Namaste, everyone. Have a wonderful Wednesday. Thank you so much from myself. And from Lila Jane. Bye bye. Namaste, friends.